and introduce myself officially. Can I mute myself back? Yeah, you can if you want to, that's fine. Got it, yep. Thanks. So my name's Kendra Aris, and I am doing a book club with the book uh, Big Potential by Sean Aker. I think that's how you're supposed to say it. And I have to tell you guys, um, so he was the keynote speaker at our, at our conference, which really, and his TED Talk was really good, and I read one of his other books. Um, and I, all of that was okay for me, but this book, this is what this book did for me, and this is what I want it to do for you. This book unlocked some potential for me in leadership that I've been missing. Um, I've, I've, I've always had some trouble with uh, leadership and recognition and understanding teamwork and how you are competitive and not competitive all at the same time. Um, and um, I'm kind of a competitive per person by nature, yet at the same time, I don't really like to be overly recognized um, and stand out in the crowd. And yet we, you know, as leaders in whatever it is that we're doing in our lives, we have to learn how to balance all of that. And this was the first book that's ever like made me feel like I could take on this task in a way that would help myself and my leadership and my business. And then also help like other parts of my life. Like I'm already finding my, I've read it twice so far. I've listened to it twice. So I'll tell you this, it's great on audio. Uh, Sean um, uh, uh, narrates it himself and he's very, very good. So if, you, um, if you've never tried an audio book, this would be a great one to start with. He, um, he's very funny and he's very charming and um, you don't necessarily have to take like notes during the, the book in order to, to have it stick. Some people like to take notes or highlight or things like that. Um, I just listen to it over and over again until I, <laughs> I get the feel. So I'm going to take this book club kind of aggressively. Not, I don't think it's too much, but if it ends up being too much, we can always back off and I'll take your guys' um, lead on that. But um, I want to do about an hour a week of, of reading. And then um, there's uh, a couple of things I want to share on our Facebook page um, that will both help people that are in the book club and then people that are not. So each week I'd like to have people share your favorite quotes. This whole book is quotable. Like it's very, very quotable. And um, I love taking quotes out of the things that I'm reading and, you know, plugging it into my life. And it's amazing. I, yeah. And so this first week really is just the first would be the first two chapters which would be part one and, and it's a little over an hour so that would be we'll have each week we'll have a um an assignment and then we'll have a post with uh, favorite quotes and then a post with um uh, our favorite takeaways and then each sunday we'll meet back here and we can do some discussion on it i think so here's the thing i asked last week in the facebook group i said hey um what's the deal with like you we what what's keeping you from applying the things that you're learning in your in your self-development and you know we we're all doing the self-development but we're not all necessarily plugging it into our lives so what what's the block what's keeping us from doing that and I feel like this book gives great examples and I want to share a few of them with you um, on how you can apply the things that you learned in the book to your life so he has uh what does he call them five i have some notes here five uh, seeds of big potential um one is surrounding yourself with positive influencers you know how we they say you're like the the sum of the five people that you spend the most time with um he has a great chapter on that it's absolutely amazing and it kind of like turned a light bulb on for me about um about where I spend my time and my energy, both online and in person. Um, and it, it gives really great examples of the dynamic of a negative person in your life. So if there is that negative person in your life or in your, in your working space or on your team or whatever that is, like how that actually is impacting you. Of course, he uses science and nerd talk the whole time and I love it. Um, the next stage is um, expand your power by helping others to lead from every seat and this was the mind blowing like it shouldn't have been so mind blowing but it was for me the mind blowing aha light bulbs fireworks going off everywhere where he gives you great ideas and examples of helping others to lead from the seat that they're in and I just was like, it, it took the pressure off of me as a leader. We put so much pressure on ourselves to do so much and to um, 
be so much for everybody else when really if we were empowering everyone else to lead from the seat that they're in um we would uh we would all elevate together and yes by the way i still have um my beer tent wristband on from last night that's a little embarrassing <laughs> anyway um enhance your resource by coming a prism of, of praise so he this is another thing that i have a huge block with is recognition i always feel like if we're recognizing one person for being the best we're often putting other people down for not being the best you know what i mean do you, you ever feel that way or like in order to to you know praise people at the top the other people at the bottom have to know that they're not great so he gives great help and examples on um on recognizing uh and, and being a better being better at recognition uh then the fourth one is defend the system against negative attacks recognize the inevitability of negative messaging for cus from customers suppliers the media and peers in your organization basically he talks about um and he uses some harry potter references which i think is amazing uh, my kids are watching harry potter right now um but he uh he talks about how um the things that we're that are in our lives that are that are putting negativity in our in our minds all the time that we're not really paying attention to and how much that's affecting us and the things that we could do to change that really really powerful stuff there and then um the last one was sustain the gains by fueling the virtuous cycle leaders carry the responsibility of setting direction but the more energy they channel in a positive direction the more power they will have to pull others along with them um so it's that it just kind of like sustaining what you've built and it, with each one of these he gives examples of things that you can do and start plugging into your life right now and for me i was like oh my gosh i can help my kids do these same things and i can help uh, my teammates do these same things and you know all, all of these things were coming together so that's kind of just a synopsis of the of the book um he talks about a lot about working together and how people light up as a team together so your assignment this week is to read part one, which is chapters one and two. I believe I'm gonna double check here on my phone. Um, oh, good. Oh, it's gonna start. Nope, don't play, don't play. Nope, oh, see, it was doing it. Okay, <laughs> chapter one is the power of hidden connections and chapter two is lifting the invisible ceiling of potential. So this is a total of about 20, an hour and 22 minutes or so. So it's, it, that would be the longest assignment in the entire, in the entire book club. So just to kind of go over it really quick, we'll, um, we'll read that this week, take your time. There'll be a, a post up where I would love if you would share your favorite quotes from those two chapters. And then also your takeaways for the chat from those two chapters. And if there's anything that you're applying that you can see where you could apply it to your life right away. That would be awesome. Then we'll meet here next Sunday, same time, same channel. Um, I did fix the, the Zoom. My sister told me the Zoom was set for a Zoom every seven weeks instead of every week for seven weeks. So um, if you got an email that was like, this has been changed and now, I don't know. I don't know what the system sends, but you probably get an email about it. And then, um, I would like to have some sharing and people getting on the, at least getting on the microphone and, and sharing. You definitely don't have to have your, um, your video on, but I promise you, I will never come looking fabulous on a Sunday at nine o'clock. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe there's a chance, a slight chance maybe that there might be some residual makeup or something, but that would probably be the, the most of that. So anybody have any questions for it? And I promise you, you're going to get into this book. Go ahead and put the questions in the chat if you have it. And I promise you, he will have you hooked from the beginning. Uh, he's just really charming and funny. And I, I really do recommend watching the, um, his TED Talk. If you've not watched his TED Talk, I put a link in the uh, group. Because then if you didn't see him, if you've never seen him speak, you just kind of having a feel for what he looks like and his mannerisms will make you, you'll just fall in love with him. Like in the way that you want him to be like your brother or your cousin or like somebody that sits at your table at dinner. So um, cool. That's it guys. I, I, I kept it short. I don't even know how I did that. <laughs> And please feel free. Your teams are welcome, uh, friends, family. Um, 
you know, if you're doing, I think most of the people that are here are in my direct sales company, but this is a great way to show even potential recruits how, um, how leadership can be done in direct sales. So I, I would absolutely welcome any of that, that you, you're welcome to share any of it publicly. And then as long as people pre-register, they will get the, the replay once it um, processes through Zoom and then I'll pop it into um, YouTube, they'll get the replay uh, emailed to them. Um, and then I'll also put it in the, in the group as well so people can find it if they didn't register. So I don't use those emails for anything exciting except for to tell you about like other fun things I'm doing that might help your life. I don't know. <laughs> cool. All right. Awesome guys. Thanks for joining me tonight. I will see you later. Enjoy the first chapter and I can't wait to start talking about it. Bye. Stop. Okay. I'm not good at stopping them. <laughs>